Hey folks, uh, this lesson is angle-angle similarity of triangles. It's also SSS similarity of triangles and SAS similarity of triangles. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started. How can, how can we show that two triangles are similar? Okay, so remember this little squiggly guy means similar. All right, let's get started. So angle-angle similarity of triangles. Recall that if we have two figures that are similar, then uh, their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. doesn't mean they're congruent. means that the sides are proportional. So ways to prove that triangles are similar. One of them is the angle-angle triangle similarity theorem. And it just says if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity theorem. Okay, And then side-side-side uh, similarity theorem says if three sides of one triangle are proportional to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar by what's called the side-side-side similarity theorem. And then the lastly, side-angle-side similarity theorem. It says if two sides uh, are proportionate to uh, two sides of one triangle are proportionate to two sides of another triangle, and that the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar by the side-angle-side similarity theorem. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. So determine whether the, the triangles are similar, and if they are similar, write a similarity statement. It means like what triangle is similar to what triangle and why they're similar, whether it's angle-angle or side-side-side -side or side-angle-side. All right, here's the first one right here. All right, so we got vertical angles right there in the middle. Okay, so we need to see if these sides are proportionate. So I like doing lefty over righty. We can do righty over lefty if we want, but I'm going to do lefty over righty. So is 39 over, I'm thinking the small side over, well, and there's not a small side over here. There, It's got to be these two sides. Is 39 over 16 equal to 40 over 16? And no, that's not true. So those triangles are not similar right there. Okay, all right, let's try another one just like that. Okay, we got vertical angles in there. So we want to see if the sides are proportional. So again, I like doing lefty over righty. Okay, so check this out. I did uh, small side over small side on lefty over righty. Does it equal the big side over the big side? Okay, there's other ways to do it, but I, that's the easiest way to get everybody to buy into it. Smally over smally, biggie over biggie, okay? And if it does equal, um, then, and since these angles are congruent, then I can say by side, angle, side, they're similar, okay? So let's go ahead and reduce this. We can cross multiply or we can reduce, and so I don't have a calculator with me. I know four goes into that two times, into that seven times. 7 goes into that 2 times and into that 7 times. They both reduce to 2 7. So, yes, they are similar by side, angle, side. Okay, notice I went from small to angle to big. Here i got to go from small to the angle to big. So that's going to be U, V, T. Okay, so um, wait, wait, wait. I did not do that. I went M, L, V. So here I went M, L to V. Okay, so I went from the no markings right there, no side markings right there, to the small side. So I got to go the no side marking to the small side. So T U V. Okay, so T U V. Okay, all right, how about this one? Okay, so this one, all we're given is sides. We don't have any angles, so we're looking for side, side, side. So we need to check is. Um, and I'm doing lefty over righty. You can do righty over lefty, but you have to be consistent, okay? So here's the big side on the left over the big side on the right. Does it equal the medium side on the left over the medium side on the right? Small on the left over small on the right, okay? And so we can we can uh, cro uh, cross multiply on all of those, or we can cancel, you guys. So 6 goes into here 14 times, into here 5 times, okay? Um, 5 goes into 70 14 times, into, into 25 5 times, and then uh, 6 goes in here, I'm sorry, uh, 3 goes in here 14 times, and 3 goes in here 15 times, or 5 times, so all of them reduce to uh, 14 fifths, so they're similar by side, side, side. So let's check. We go from V, T, U. So V, T, U. So it looks like we're going from small side to medium side so we got to go small side to medium side so sqr right there okay
All right, how about this one? Okay, so we got those angles congruent right there. Now we need to see if these sides are in proportion. Notice I'm doing top over bottom. So small side on the top over small side on the bottom. Does it equal big side on the top over big side on the bottom? Okay, and I know th um, uh, 3 goes into that 3 times and 7 times. 6 goes into that 3 times and 7 times, or you can cross multiply. Um, so we got, uh, they are similar because um, uh, by side angle side, because the, the two sides are in proportion to these two sides and the included angles are congruent right there. Let's check it out. W, U, V. So W, U, V, we went from small to the angle to the big. So we got to go small to the angle to the big. So H, F, G right there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So find the indicated lengths if possible. Okay. So we have these two triangles right here. Okay. Now we know angle R equals angle R by the reflexive property. So these triangles are similar by angle 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 similarity angle angle similarity okay so so um r s uh, uh v sorry r s v i have r s t oh uh yeah r s v yeah that should be a v sorry r s v is similar to sorry about this galley RSV is uh, uh, similar to RTU. Okay, that that's true right there. Okay, so um, uh, so then I can say 10 over this side. What what we're looking for is RT over here. So 10 over that side right there. I got to change this to a V right there. Oops. So that's a V. Sorry. And then let's cross multiply. So we get uh, 8x equals 10 times 12. So 8x equals 10 times 12. And then we'll go ahead and um, divide by 8. And we get um, 5 times 3 is 15 right there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. We got another one right here. Okay. So here we have um, uh, some parallel lines right here. These parallel lines give us alternate interior angles that are congruent right there. So this angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is congruent to this angle. Okay. So ACB. So we went from the red to the blue to the to the vertical angles. We could have said those are angle uh, angles are equal also. So red, blue, vertical angles. So DEB right there. All right, so then we can um, uh, we can go ahead and uh, look for BE, and we'll call it X right there. Okay, so we can set up a proportion. And when we set up a proportion, we get that uh, proportion and cross multiply, and then divide by 36, and 27 times 3 is uh, going to give us uh, 81 right there. All right, if you guys are in our class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.